Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, this is gonna be epic. I'm gonna do a tab and slot system for the front chassis. I'm gonna build an upper mount and a lower mount, and we're gonna dive into how I designed it. This is actually gonna hold my Corvette upper and lower control arms, because I have to have somewhere to start to build the chassis. So let's dive in, and I'll show you guys how I came up with the idea and how we got to slide over my chromoly chassis. This will keep the structure together as I'm starting to get it ready, so I have to make a reverse jig. Boom. have here is an actual tab and slot system I designed that is the fixture and the real piece all in one. This is going to help me later on in life and actually put it together. You'll see that these things pop together like a puzzle piece. They hold themselves still and keep the articulation perfectly how I designed it. That way I'm not fighting with it while I'm building it and then when I go to weld it, it's already popped together. Now I'm just using Corvette upper and lower control arms so I got the measurements to base my design off of, honestly just measuring two other Corvettes. Got my back, got the measurements, and realized where the articulation points are. And then from there, that's how I started the design. All right, so now that we're at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add myself some adjustments here. I wanna be able to change my instant center later on in life. I'm also gonna add myself a blocking plate here or some more structural integrity for the washer. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a filler plate here that will allow this not to bend. Right, now that we got everything mocked up we have our chassis tube which is just a mock-up for right now i just tacked this in to kind of show you guys how this is going to work because we're going to get to the next problem now that i gave myself a camber adjustment this is going to slide all over the place and this will make havoc later on in life so then we got this nifty difty heim joints i'm going to run one of these here and here so now i'm going to design my bracket and tab system that allows me to bolt this in here on this end and then on this end, so I'm gonna have a tab here, tab here, set this dead in the middle, and then when I adjust this, this will push this out or in, depending on my camber adjustment. And then when I lock it in, it's locked in. As you see, everything's kind of worked out. I didn't plan for that, but this is gonna be right here. Put a wrench in there and tighten her up. So let's get some measurements, make our tab system so this can bolt in.
yeah, so uh, it actually gets me really fired up. Now we have our camber adjustments. So when I get this car locked and loaded, unlock this bolt and use these to open this up. Now I put two because if I put one in the middle, this would have had a tendency to do one of these. So now this is locked, this is locked. I can come out a full inch. I got way more camber adjustment. We have our locking plate up top. We also have our instant center adjustments here. So I can change it and set it down the road. Now I'm gonna end the episode here because I'm not gonna fully weld this. We're not gonna put these on until my chassis tube comes through and we actually have the chassis tube. This tube itself is gonna run all the way back. Back of the car's gonna be about 10 foot long, so we'll wait till we do that. So I'll duplicate these brackets for the other side, get them ready, and then we're gonna start moving forward. Now, now that we're in this episode, uh, the next one's gonna be very special. <laughs> I say that for everyone, but this whole thing is near and dear to my heart. But the next one, I'm actually gonna talk about how we're gonna do the all-wheel drive. I know I've been talking about it. I keep on mentioning it and haven't told you guys. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna have the actual components, well, most of them. I'm still missing one big thing. But we're gonna have most of the components to show you how the all-wheel drive is gonna work. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe, and next episode's coming out actually pretty quick, so we'll get to it. So, toodaloo, until next time. <laughs>